Greetings, Heather Meyer, independent Simply Fun Playologist here. I wanted to take a minute to share some of our games for preschool and kindergartners. Now, this section of our catalog is one of the largest, but I was able to narrow it down to my top five favorites to share with you today. So to start, we're going to look at Lily Pond. Lily Pond is one of our new releases. It is a spelling game, and all of the words are decodable. So fun fact there. Teachers are way excited about that. All of our vowels are in yellow, and the consonants are in green. So you have your frog on the lily pad, and you are going to jump around to the letters to collect your letters on your pieces of cards. So I got a four, and I need to get an H and an A. So if I am the purple frog, I am going to jump towards the H. So I would go S, H, and then I need to go towards the A, which is over there. So I'd go to U. So then, after I've said the letters aloud, I get to move my little lily pad over. So I've gotten the H. So now I'm just waiting on my A. Play continues. Once you complete a word, you say it aloud, spell it, and flip it over. Next, we have Wake Up Stars, which works on emotions, identifying and relating. So what you do is you spin the spinner, pick, oh, let's say we landed there. Spin the spinner, pick a star. I got happy, and you have a key just in case you're curious. And I share a time when I was happy. I was happy today when my daughter brought me flowers. If you land on Tibber, you draw a star for Tibber. Tibber was sad when he ran out of carrots. You can also adapt this play up to include uh, a time when you might make someone feel that way. I make others happy when I bring them coffee. Or you can also use these in the bathtub because they are the fun material of the bath toys, so they stick to the wall. So that's a great, great way to adapt this for fun play elsewhere. Next, we have Be Alert, which is a memory game. You flip a card, you find the B. Oops, kidding. Yellow B, and you get to pull the B in front of you to take care of. If you draw Barry the Bear, Barry takes all of your Bs. If you draw the hive, then you get to steal someone else's hive without lifting it up to see what color you've stolen. The per first person to get four beehives wins. So this is a fun, creative memory game. Next, we have Share a Berry, which works on fine motor skills as well as counting. You are going to begin by identifying numbers one through four as well as seeing them in the picture. So here you can see that Barry has four berries in his basket, and then number four also appears. So you would take four berries from the basket, put them into yours and thread them. And then at the end of the game, you're going to share. So you see here, we're sharing two berries with the person on my left. And lastly, one of my all-time favorite games is Digger's Garden Match. In this game, you work to pair colors or shapes, and then you get to move your dog bone. So here you can see that I, my game kind of came apart. You can see that I matched shapes and colors, and I would get to move my piece one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces forward. And so there you can see my dog bone is on the seven. And we also have Digger the Puppet, which is sold separately. So for more information on these games, extended play, or just the full video on how to play these games, check out the website. And we'll see you back on the party page.